Hello, welcome to a quick introduction to the new SketchUp integration tool. The tool can export elements from BinPro to SketchUp and back the other way. Here is an example where SketchUp is showing some contents from BinPro. SketchUp is a 3D presentation and editing tool. It is perhaps the most common 3D program in the world. Many of the SketchUp tools are free. The example shown here is in SketchUp Make 2017, which is free for non-commercial use. You can find the link to where to download it here. A SketchUp project can be saved and shown on different platforms using free viewers. For example, iPad, and iPhone, Android, PC and Mac. Here is a clip recorded on my Android phone. It can be shown in VR glasses and it can be shown as AR, augmented reality, like shown here. So with the SketchUp integration tool, you now have all these things available. From SketchUp, the model can be exported to other formats and loaded into other softwares, which is also widening the possibilities and ways to work with a WinPro project. Inside SketchUp, there's a lot of functionality that now becomes available to WinPro users. As you may notice, it is possible to turn on shadows. SketchUp has a shadow engine that is known to be very precise, and the location, date and time is taken into account. Flickr can now be illustrated and evaluated straight on the surface. And if creating a simple building, shadows and Flickr can be even better illustrated. Shadows can even be shown on a photomontage photo. Calculation result layers can be shown as 3D volumes, and CFD and flow risk results can be shown as quiver plots. PV panels can be exported from WinPro as 3D models. Shadows on the panels can be animated correctly. Everything from SketchUp can be exported to Google Earth, meaning that 3D PV panels and map surfaces can be exported to Google Earth, which is not yet possible directly from WinPro. Anything in SketchUp can be copied right back into WinPro, meaning that, for instance, PV panels can be moved around and copied, and then exported back to WinPro with a single click, and visualized in photomontage. This also means that the huge 3D library that is a part of SketchUp and is a big selling point for SketchUp is now easily available for WinPro photomontage. Just select and position any object from the library and then click on the menu item Export Selected Item to WinPro and that's it. It is now a 3D object in WinPro. Just as easily the surface map that came from WinPro in the first place can be exported back to WinPro and rendered in photomontage. This way the user can validate that a photomontage is calibrated correctly. WinPro can export wireframes and photo points to SketchUp. In SketchUp you, you can then jump from one camera to another and see the rotating VTGs from WinPro camera positions. The wireframes can be shown as rich profiles, which is commonly used in the UK. At any time, the current view in SketchUp can be saved as a JPEG or PNG, and it is also possible to create videos. For existing SketchUp users, it is now possible to create very precise visualizations on photos by exporting WinPro photo montages. WinPro's many tools to calibrate a, a landscape photo in 3D space is superior to the tools available in SketchUp. When first the photos and 3D map surfaces is exported to SketchUp in a real coordinate system selected by the user, it is easy to place a 3D model correctly and visualize it correctly on the photos and save those to JPEG format. Or use the SketchUp 3D viewer, like here on my phone, to present the photo montages. That was all for now. Please contact EMD if you like to try it out, or wants to become a beta tester for upcoming versions of this module. Thank you for your time.